Shalom family and welcome back to Amazing Love. So I uploaded a video this morning that I recorded last night. And this video is going to be a continuation. Um, there are some things that the Lord is doing as it relates to relationships. Whether you are currently married, whether you are separated um, and you're no longer living in the house together. Uh, whether you are just in a relationship or whether it's somebody that you were interested in and things kind of went sour. Um, if the Lord is in the midst of that relationship and he is deeming for you two to be brought together for his will and his kingdom, then you definitely want to hear what the Lord has to say concerning this message. Now, feel free, um, any message dealing with relationships can be used in, in, to any degree, you know. But I, I do know that the Lord is specifically speaking to those who are in the process of either you've already begun reconciliation or the Lord is going to bring reconciliation um, into your relationship or your marriage. You definitely want to be here for this. Now, what the Lord wanted me to pinpoint is that there are certain hurts and there are certain traumas that can hinder um, our growth. And so I just want to give you a few tips that the Lord has laid on my heart to give you when you are on the crossroads of not knowing how to fully heal and get over um, the hurt that you've experienced. Now, I wanna state that I am not licensed. Um, I am not a therapist. Um, however, um, you know, the Lord uses me in, in a mighty way. He's given me a gift. He's given me a gift of encouragement. And he's also given me a lot of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding when it comes to relationships. Understand, I'm human. <laughs> I am not perfect. However, um, the Lord has blessed me in that way um, to where I have overcome a lot in my life in terms of relationships. And I am still mentally, emotionally, and physically whole as it relates to that. And so the Lord wants to use me. Uh, this will be my ministry and it is my ministry. It's been my ministry, but the Lord now wants to open it up to YouTube and to many others, you know, even outside of YouTube. And so I am just honored. I am blessed that I am able to be used by the Lord in this way. Um, now, the scripture that the Lord gave me was Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 through 30 and i want to read that um over with you really quickly so it says come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for i am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest unto your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light and so what the Lord really is saying to us is that he wants us to come unto him. That is an open invitation. That invitation does not come with a, a start date, an end date. You know, it does not come with a particular time, you know, where it starts or where it ends. That is an open invitation. The Lord is saying, come unto me. He wants you to bring whatever hurts, whatever Whatever it is that you're dealing with, the Lord wants to meet you exactly where you are. He doesn't want you to feel that, oh, you know, I'm not someone who usually go to church or I'm not someone who usually talk to the Lord. I can't go to him. No. Anyone who, whether you know the Lord, whether you don't know the Lord, whether you're, you're new into your relationship with the Lord, no matter where you are in your journey, the Lord wants you to know that you can come to him and you can come to him with anything it doesn't matter because there is nothing new under the sun the lord wants to free you from any hurt and from any pain that you've experienced now when you come to the lord understand that you must come to him vulnerable 
you know, you have to be willing to be open when you are ready for healing. If you're not ready to face, if you're not really ready to deal with um, those things that come up when dealing with past hurts and trauma, then, you know, I would suggest you just say that to the Lord. Lord, I'm not ready to go through this hurt, but I need peace. Help me because Jesus said, my peace I leave with you. And so you can still come to him, but he also understand that there are levels. There are phases in our walk, in our journey. And so you may not be at a point where you're able to face certain things. That's okay. You just let the Lord know, like, Lord, I've been hurt. You know, I've been under a lot of pressure. I've, I've gone through so much and I don't even know how to tackle this. I don't even know how to face it. But what I do know is, Lord, that you left your peace here. Peace that surpasses all understanding. So I need you to stand in the gap. And I need you to be able to help me to be at peace so that I can find the healing that I'm looking for. And the Lord, let me tell you something. I have been in so many situations where anyone would have crumbled, anyone would have fallen. But for me, you know, that it did, it never overtook me. Why? Because I had the peace that surpassed all understanding. Once you have the peace of God, then you are able to start dealing with some of the traumas and some of the hurts that um, you've experienced in your life. And so sometimes we don't know how to, I think the biggest issue that most people have is we don't know how to communicate what we are feeling. And sometimes we as people, we can be very prideful even when it comes to going before the Lord. We have so much pride. Like we want to come off as if we know everything. And we don't. We, we don't know everything. This is why we need the Lord in our lives so that he can guide us um, along our journey and, and give us the information that we need, right? So we just always want to make sure we are in a place where we are asking the Lord for his wisdom, his knowledge, and his understanding. So that when he begins to give us the things that we need, or even help us to be able to face some of the things that we are having such a hard time facing, we'll be able to truly receive it with his direction, with his guidance. And know this, wherever the Lord is, when, whenever you are in the presence of the Lord, that is a safe place. That's the safest you will ever be is when you are in the presence of the Lord. So it's okay to be open. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to say, Lord, I don't know. I don't understand. I don't, I don't even know how I'm feeling right now. Like there's been times I've had this feeling and I didn't know what it was. And I wasn't, I wasn't angry. I wasn't hurt. I wasn't frustrated. I wasn't any of the things that I could actually put my hand and pinpoint on. Like I didn't know how to identify with how I was feeling. And those moments for me are so frustrating because I'm used to, you know, I'm somebody who owns my feelings. Like I'm able to say, if I'm angry or I'm mad about something, I can say, well, I'm angry, I'm upset, I'm mad, I'm confused. Um, I'm extremely happy, I'm grateful. You know, I can express how I feel. So for me to get to a point where I don't know, like, Lord, there is something going on with me and I don't know what it is. I cannot identify with it. You know, um, the Lord knows, okay, we have some work to do. And so, but he's always met me there. He's always met me there and he'll, because we carry these things sometimes in our subconscious. You know, um, we're so busy being who we are in our everyday life, you know, that sometimes we forget to revisit some of the things that are just kind of laying dormant, you know. And so when we take things in, we need to be able to release them. That's the difference between someone who can operate in a, in a healthy way, mentally and emotionally. You take in and then you release. You take in and then you release. And it may be different times. You know, just because you take something in today doesn't mean you're gonna release it today. 
you know and so we just want to be able to go to the lord and let him know father i am here you know i don't i don't know what i'm feeling or maybe you do maybe you can identify with the fact that you are just angry or i'm angry this person hurt my feelings help me unpack this help me to understand how we got here because understand something when the Lord bring two people together. Remember, he is supposed to always be in the midst. So your relationship is not going to experience anything that the Holy Spirit won't be privy to. So if there's something that you don't understand that's going on with your husband or with your wife, and you know that they're not in a position where they feel like discussing it, Go to the Lord. Go to your father. Lord, what is going on with him? What is going on with her? You know, I'm trying to speak to her. I'm trying to find out what's going on. And, and she's just, she's cold. She's not opening up. I'm trying to express how I feel with my husband, but he's not opening up to me. What should I do? And if there comes a moment where the Lord is silent, they understand something. In those moments, less is best. Don't provoke. When we operate in any relationship, we should be operating in love. Love is the, the foundation on what we stand on when we are in any relationship. And how do you check that? How do you check your, your, your heart? How do you check yourself to know if you are operating in love? Well, you can go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and it'll tell you. You can also do a heart check when it comes to the fruits of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, goodness, gentleness, kindness, self-control, faithfulness, patience. Sometimes the Lord wants us to be patient. Sometimes your spouse, your significant other, wants you to be patient. Sometimes we can't, we just spoke about how sometimes we don't know how to communicate what we're going through, right? So think about it. That, just, that doesn't just go for us. That goes for even those that we are in relationships with. Someone may not know how to communicate what they just experienced. Or maybe those things that they're holding on to. That's where we have to, as, as men and women of God, we have to be ready to go to the throne for our significant others. We have to be able to say, Lord, I need you to intervene in this. There is something that is troubling my husband. There is something that is troubling my wife. What can I do to help him? What can I do to help her? We have to make sure we are including the Lord in everything. You know, I made a decision a long time ago. Jesus is my best friend. The Lord is my best friend. Because that's who you need to be running to. Don't get me wrong. There are people that the Lord give gifts to that can help you to overcome. And if he laid them on your heart, definitely you want to be able to go and speak to them and the Lord will bring forth whatever, you know, whether it's comfort, if it's a revelation, if it's wisdom, understanding, you know, be open. Definitely if the Lord places someone on your heart or he says, you know, you need to reach out to this person or even if he sends a person to you, you know, you definitely want to take heed to how the Holy Spirit is sending you your destiny helpers to help you. However, he should be the first person that you run to. You shouldn't be picking up the phone like, yo, man, let me tell you, you know, my wife, she tripping. Not saying that they can't help, but if you haven't first gone to the Lord, if you haven't sought the Lord, and you don't have to go into no long prayer to seek the Father, you could say, all right, Lord, I'm feeling some type of way. You know, 
can you send somebody to me? Or should I call this person? Or sometimes he may not want you to speak to anyone. He may want you, he may want to speak to you. Because that's a real thing too. And you have to know, I know, you know, I'm someone who is used by the Lord. The Lord speaks to me and he have me to deliver messages. You know, he have me to prophesy to people. You know, some people I've never even met before. I don't know. Some people that I know, we've never shared personal information, but he's given me, you know. Um, but sometimes he just, there's times that the Lord could have used me and he didn't. And that's usually because he's waiting for you to go to him. So we just have to be open. But the Lord said, come unto me. Because you can find out everything you need with your father. He literally is your blueprint to how to walk out this life and how to have a successful relationship. Not a perfect relationship. Not perfect because you are going to be challenged. You are going to go through things. You are. So don't think for one minute that you know being saved or because the lord brought you this person and you know that you are equally yoked then that means you're not going to go through anything no you're going to be tested and let me tell you something if it's the lord that brought you two together oh trust and believe the enemy is upset about that now some people deal with their their uh trials you know at different points of their relationship but Trust and believe you're going to be tested. You're going to be tried because the enemy doesn't want you. What? You are actually with the person that the Lord wants you to be with? He's going to jump all over that. All hell is probably going to break loose. But we have to know how to keep things into perspective. And we have to remember that in that union, the Holy Spirit, our Lord and Savior, is with us. He's with us. He's guiding us. He's directing us. He's giving us what to say. You know, it makes me think about, um, you know how you see, like, movies or TV shows where there's someone, you know, the guy may not know how to talk to a female, right? So he take this woman that he's interested in out to dinner, and he doesn't know how to talk to her. So he sits behind him, you know, or they put a microphone in the ear of the person who's afraid and the person is feeding them the words to say to the woman. That's how the Holy Spirit is. He will tell you what it is that you need to do. He will tell you how to repair. He will help you. Through the frustrations and the pain. He will give you the peace. And it's not sometimes, it's not just as, as, as easy as a snap of a finger. You're going to have to work for it. You know, if you think that you were brought into this world to go through situations and not experience pain then you're not thinking realistically and you're going to find yourself in a lot of situations where you're just not happy hurt people hurt people and if you have lived long enough to be with the person that god ordained you to be with then you've gone through some stuff you've been hurt everybody has a story everyone has a story to one degree or another, you've experienced hurt and pain. And so that doesn't give us an excuse. We don't have the excuse to say, well, I went through this. So that's why I treat this person this way or that's why I close up. No, we have to be able to accept what we've been through, own it, and heal through it. And so uh, my prayer is that you will take our Lord up on the invitation that he's extended out to you. It doesn't have to be anything long and outdrawn, 
But just by going to him and saying, Lord, help me. Like, I don't even know where to begin. I don't know where to start. I messed up. I said some things I shouldn't have said. I did some things I shouldn't have did. I thought some things that I shouldn't have thought. And even if you are in a situation where you feel like you've done nothing wrong, you feel like, no, I was well within my rights. You know, he or she was the one tripping. Lord, how can I make this right? Show me what it is I need to do to play my position. Because there's always something that we can do. So I hope and pray that this message has blessed you. I truly believe that the Lord is not done as it relates to this topic. Um, so as he begins to, to bring me um, the messages, I will be sure to get them out to you. Um, I pray that you accept the invitation. Talk to him. He waiting for you. Until next time, family, shalom.